So let's look at the following example that deals with Ampere's law. Let's suppose we have a cylindrical conducting wire with a radius given by uppercase R that carries an electric current given by I. Now I, our electric current, is given to be 60 amps and the radius of our wire is 2 millimeters. So using that information and Ampere's law, we want to solve part A, B, and C. So let's begin with part A. Calculate the magnetic field at the surface of our wire. So we apply Ampere's law, which states the following. So if we take the closed integral of the dot product of the magnetic field and our infinitely small distance dl in which our magnetic field B exists, that will give us the product of our mu naught, the permeability of free space, and our enclosed electric current which is found inside this enclosed region of space. So because we're looking for the magnetic field at the surface, we choose our closed path to be along the surface of our wire. So the left side of this equation becomes as follows. So we are integrating from some position 0 to a position all the way around our surface. So that means from 0 to the circumference given by 2 pi uppercase r. Now by definition of the dot product, the dot product of two vectors is equal to the product of the magnitude of the two vectors and the cosine of the angle between these two vectors. Now, by definition of Ampere's law, the angle between these two vectors is always chosen to be zero. And cosine of zero is one, so this quantity becomes one. Now, if we actually evaluate the integral, we get the following result. So this becomes L, we have B times L from 0 to 2 pi R, and that becomes B multiplied by 2 pi times R. And that is equal to mu naught, the permeability of free space, multiplied by the current found in our wire, which is given by I. So if we rearrange this equation, we get the following result. So this gives us the magnitude of our magnetic field outside of our conducting wire as long as we assume it to be a straight wire. So, mu naught is simply the permeability of free space. It has a quantity equal to 2, 4 pi times 10 to the negative 7 teslas multiplied by meters divided by amps divided by 2 pi multiplied by a current of 60 amps divided by a radius of 0.002 meters. And that gives us 0.006 teslas or equivalently 6 milli Teslas is our magnetic field at the surface of our wire. Now, let's move on to part B. We want to calculate the magnetic field outside the wire at a distance of 5 millimeters above the surface of our wire. So as we saw in a previous lecture, the equation which can be obtained using Ampere's law has the same exact form as this equation where R is the distance from the center of our wire to the point at which we're examining our magnetic field. So let's replace R with lowercase r, where lowercase r is this distance here. So, mu naught is once again 4 pi times 10 to negative 7 teslas multiplied by meters divided by amps divided by 2 pi multiplied by 60 amps divided by, so our r is simply this distance which is 0.002 meters plus 
0.005 meters and that gives us 0.007 meters. So we plug that into our calculator and we get 0.002 Teslas or equivalently 2 milliteslas is our magnitude of the magnetic field at a distance of 7 millimeters away from the center of our wire. Now let's move on to part C. Calculate the magnetic field inside the conducting wire at a distance of 0.4 millimeters below the surface of our wire. So let's begin by recalling the equation that we derived in the previous lecture using Ampere's law that gives us the magnitude of our magnetic field inside our conducting wire. So that is given by the following equation. So the magnetic field is equal to the ratio mu naught divided by 2 pi multiplied by i the total electric current within our wire multiplied by lowercase r which is the distance from the center of our wire to the point where we're examining our magnetic field divided by r squared where uppercase r is the radius of our wire. So mu naught is simply 4 pi times 10 to negative 7. Our i is simply 60 amps. Our uppercase r is 0 0.002 meters and the lowercase r is simply the uppercase r minus this distance. So 0 0.002 meters minus 0 0.004 meters we take the product divide and we get 0.005 teslas or equivalently 5 milliteslas is our magnitude of our magnetic field at a distance of 0.4 millimeters below the surface of our wire.